really haven't been around a team that that makes everyone so close. And um, it's about ready to with about two minutes to go, or whatever whatever the play was, when when did Antoine make that play? Was it about a minute or so? Two forty. I turned to Larry Perry and I said, you know, normally we have somebody like Jamal Tinsley who would steal the ball right now and the game's over. And that's the difference and, and, and he did. Antoine did it. And I'm huge on players make plays and um, I thought our players made plays down the stretch. I know we're going to get to Emmanuel, but let's get to him now. I mean, I, that's, that's his, that's his, uh, neatest performance I've seen under such adverse circumstances. And I, I, I was going to put him in, and there was a timeout. Um, so I waited until they started to play the game again, then I put him in because I knew the fans would, would encourage him. And, and I thought our fans were terrific tonight. And they really acknowledged him. And if you don't think that means a lot to him, Kidding ourselves, so it was cool that that uh, you know he, he hasn't he hasn't played much in, in obviously the last week and eleven and seven and twenty minutes um, maybe the greatest performance I've ever witnessed under, under such a such such tragic situations. How big was that energy that? When he went in the game, the crowd got fired up. Just how much did that impact the rest of the players in the game itself? You think? Oh, I. You know, this team really rallied uh, around Emmanuel um, at the Air Force game and tonight, <coughs> and in between. You know, I've told this story about how uh, it, it was. It brought me to tears, but they. Uh, they had to sign the card real quick, and I wonder what was going on. Emmanuel got back yesterday, and, and um, Fred came in and said, here, coach, you signed this card. And I just thought it was a card for Emmanuel. Well, then Teal comes in with a widescreen TV, and all the players chipped in and bought Emmanuel a widescreen TV. Now, when I was telling some of the guys over there earlier, I, I, I've had teams where they that thing would be stolen before the game, before practice was over. Find a teammate, and I don't mean that bad or anything, but I'm just mean it as the kind of guys we have on the team are just incredible. And uh, who thinks of that? Come on, I mean, who, who does that? And then it was really cool because the way Teal presented it, he it was a, he made everybody laugh. You know, it wasn't. A, it made me tear up, but then we, we said something um, about you, know, you can't come over my house anymore and watch my TV. Now you got your own, so and everybody laughs. So quite a quite a night, and uh, I'm really happy for Emmanuel. After that kind of up and under layup you had there late in the second half, put you guys up six. He kind of looked at the crowd and they started running down court and kind of a big smile went across his face. Yeah. Seeing that as a coach, obviously with what he's been through, what do moments like that mean when, I mean, despite all that, he kind of just lights <coughs> up in, in a basket? Oh, well, they're priceless. I saw exactly what you saw. And, you know, he's in his element when he's out there and, he, and he's able to put the real life on hold for just a moment and really enjoy himself. And I thought it was absolutely terrific. Um, I was on our team real hard at halftime about offensive rebounding, and you know he took it to heart along with some of the other guys. We had 20 second chance points, and that was the difference in the game. So it was a cool play, that play, but not just that. You know, I don't know how many offensive rebounds he had, but they were they were key ones. And four, you know, we don't win the game without those four. So it was. Uh, special night for a lot of reasons.